I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on quadratic relations applications. Now, here are two examples where we'll consider perpendicular lines and collinear points. This is just to remind you that earlier we have learned about lines and uh, we are going to review the concept of slopes of lines. So based on slopes of line, we know perpendicular lines are those, if I say line 1 is perpendicular to line 2, in that case slope of line 1 times slope of line 2 should be minus 1, right? So that is the concept about perpendicular lines. The question here is, the vertices of a right angle triangle are A minus 4, 2, B, 2, N, and C, N plus 1, minus 5. Find the possible values of N if angle ABC is 90 degrees. So that's your first question. The second question here is regarding collinear points. We are saying the coordinates of points A, B, C are collinear. Find the value of N, right? So, so that is the value of N. When we say collinear points, in that case, using the concepts of slope of line, we can actually find collinear points also. So basically, if I have a slope of a line from A to B, same as slope of the line from A to C, no, then, then they are collinear. Right? So it is very important to realize that we need to consider a common point. So when you find slope, so note, we should have a common point. Right, it makes sense. If we don't have a common point, in that case, you know, the two lines could be parallel, but they are not collinear. You, you get my point? But if you have a common point and then, then they are collinear you get the idea, right? So, so the common point is very important. I'm actually going to have this video also attached with concepts of line. So some of you, if you know how to solve quadratic equations, you can actually answer these questions. Now here is one more question, which relates to circle. So, in the first question, we are saying ABC, the triangle is a right angle triangle, right? Now, you will also recall that in a circle, if I have two points on the diameter, right, say, right, and if I have any other point in the semicircle, in that case, whatever triangle I make, that is going to be a right angle triangle. So that really means that I have a right angle at B, so I could have a triangle ABC where the coordinates of A are whatever you get here, minus 4, 2. Coordinates of B are 2N and coordinates of C are n plus 1 minus 5. Correct? So, if I know these three points, in that case, as you can realize, I can find equation of circle. So now, the question for you is, find equation of circle. right so given these three points right given points a b and c you understand so what we are doing here is we are kind of extending the concept 
from slopes of lines to quadratic equations to equation of circles. So that is how all these things are related. Do you see that part? So the idea of introducing these three examples together is to make you aware that everything which you are learning is so well connected. Perfect. So now you can actually pause the video and answer these three questions. So once you find these points, you can also find the equation of the circle using the concept of slope, right? So let's move forward and see how to solve such questions. So in the first question, we are talking about perpendicular lines. The question is, the vertices of a right triangle are A minus 4, 2, B is 2, N, and C is N plus 1 minus 5. Find possible values of N if the angle ABC is 90 degrees, right? So, so what we are considering here is that we have a triangle kind of like this. Let me sketch it like this, right? And in this particular triangle, at B we have 90 degrees. So the point B is right here with coordinates 2 and N. Now we can name A, B, C like this. And coordinates of C are given to us as N plus 1 minus 5. Coordinates of A are minus 4, 2. Okay. So the diagram really helps us to solve. The points are not oriented in any coordinate plane, right? So they, we're just using them for finding slope. So when we say that we have a right angle here, that really means that the slope of A to B times slope of B to C is negative 1, correct? That's what it means. Since we have right angle at 90 degrees at B, correct? Now, what is the slope A to B? So for slope, we know the formula. Slope M, let me write down the formula here. Slope M is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, correct? So we can do n minus 2 divided by 2 minus 4, which is 2 plus 4 now, e times m to b to c. So minus 5 minus n, right? So we have minus 5 minus n over n plus 1 minus 2, right? That should be equal to negative 1, clear? So let's uh, multiply, simplify. So we have n minus 2 times, so this is, we could write this as uh, minus common. We could write this as n plus 5, correct? The denominator here is, this is 6, right? 4 plus 2. And here we get n minus 1 equals to minus 1, correct? Well, we can cancel these minuses, right? So once you cancel, and then you cross multiply, so you get n minus 2 times n plus 5 equals to 6 times n minus 1. Now let's open the bracket. We get n square plus 5n minus 2n minus 10 equals to 6n minus 6. Bring them together. n square, this is uh, 3n minus 10 minus 6n plus 6 equals to 0. So let's combine the terms. We get n squared minus 3n, and that is minus 4 equals to 0. Okay? Now we can actually, this is a quadratic equation, right? Now when you're learning about lines, you haven't learned much about quadratic equations. So at that stage, this question is difficult to do. But once you've learned quadratic equations, then uh, it is simpler. So let's now factor this. So we are looking for a product of minus 4 and sum of minus 3. So 4 times 1 works, correct? So we could write this as n minus 4 times n plus 1 equals to 0. So that gives us the value of n as either equals to 4 or n equals to minus 1, correct? 
So, so that means we have two set of points, right? So if I use n equals to 4, then what my points are? Well, in that case, uh, the points will be a is minus 4 2, that is fixed, b is sub substitute 4 there, so we get 2 4, and c is 4 plus 1 is 5, so we get 5 minus 5, correct? So that is one option. The second option is when n equals to minus 1. So if n equals to minus 1, then we get the points as a, which is minus 4, 2, right, b, substituting minus 1 here, we get 2 minus 1, and then c, substituting minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, 0 minus 5, right. So that is the second set of points which we get, correct? So we get two sets of points. Now you have a bonus question which we discussed right in the very beginning, which is find equation of a circle that has a, B, C, points A, B, C on it. Okay, so I've written it in short form. I hope you understand the concept, right? So the idea is that these three points will be on a semicircle, correct? So you can always make a circle that will be your center, correct? And your circle will be going through these three points. You get the idea? You have to now find the equation of the circle. Perfect. Now the key is that slope of these are at right angles, right? So that helps you to find the equation. So you could now write a general point here, x, y, right? You get my point? You can write this as x, y, and you can take a and c as your critical points. Is it okay? Now b could be anywhere, perfect. So the equation of circle will be, if you use x and y for b, right, if you use x and y for b, in that case, using the same concept, you can write here uh, y minus y value is, uh, in this case, 2, divided by x minus, that is x plus 4, times, taking slope with this line, you can do y plus 5 over x minus this is x is equal to minus 1. So if you solve this equation, you'll get equation of circle. Do you get the idea? All right? So, so that is how you can actually get the equation of the circle. So I hope it makes sense. So let's move on and take up the next question, which was relating collinear points. Now let us see how to solve questions relating collinear points. The coordinates of points A minus 2N, B 8 minus N2, and C minus A 2N are collinear. Find the value of N. So collinear means we'll take slope from A to point B, right? And we'll also take slope from A to C. So we'll call this as slope MAB, and this will be slope MAC. So if they are collinear, points, that means that slopes are same, right, so they are along the same line, perfect, means if one line is kind of like this, the other one is same slope from here, right, so same, do you understand, on the same line, that's what it means, so let's just figure it out, so what is m of a to b? So we'll do y2 minus y1, right? So we have 2 minus n over 8 minus n minus minus 2. That gives us plus 2. That should be equal to from c to a, 2n minus n over minus 8 minus 
2 which is plus 2 that's what you get correct so let's simplify this we get 2 minus n over 8 plus 2 is 10 10 minus n equals 2 2n minus n is n and here we get minus 6 correct okay let's cross multiply so we get minus 6 times 2 minus n equals 2 n times 10 minus n correct let's open minus 12 plus 6n equals to 10n minus n square perfect now let's bring them to one side I would like to keep this positive so we'll have n square bringing them to the left side right minus 10n there we have plus 6n minus 12 equals to 0 so that gives us n square minus 4n minus 12 equals to 0 6 times 2 works right so n minus 6 times n plus 2 equals to 0 so n could equal to 6 or n could be minus 2 so there are two solutions correct so based on two solutions we get two set of points let's write down when n equals to 6 what is the solution and when n equals to minus 2 what is the solution correct so if I substitute 6 here then coordinates of point A will be minus 2 6 B will be 8 take away 6 is 2 right so it is 2 2 and C will be minus 8 twice 6 12 if I substitute minus 2 here then I get A as minus 2 minus 2 B is minus 2 makes it plus 2 so 10 2 and C will be minus 4 here right so minus 8 minus 4 does it make sense to you so we get these points and these are collinear points perfect now we can add a question to this and that is find equation of line through given points right so now we know the points right so so let it be and check whether it's same equation or not so one set is this the other set is this correct so you find equation of line is it the same equation so you could verify once you've done this so I hope that makes sense so it's kind of interesting to see how things are related we actually solve excellent examples based on slopes of line once we learn the techniques of quadratic relations so that is how they are connected feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best